Iran's hostility substantially increased after the foolish Iran nuclear deal was signed in 2013. And they were given $150 billion, not to mention $1.8 billion in cash. The missiles fired last night at us and our allies were paid for with the funds made available by the last administration. Great. Looks like another day of talking about Iran. I don't mind really because the media is giving me ample material to expose them as political hacks. But due to the subject matter, YouTube marks these videos as not advertiser friendly every single time. That's why I ask my viewers to subscribe to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. It really helps when YouTube is cracking down on points of view they don't like. I think it is notable at how how ham-handedly the president tried to politicize this by 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 blaming the previous administration for financing i i you know there was nothing ham-handed about it he rightfully called out the previous administration for making the iran situation worse by sending the world's leading state sponsor of terror pallets full of unmarked cash what exactly does Chuck, my wife gets millions from the Democrat party, Todd, think that Iran was doing with pallets full of unmarked cash? Of course they use that money to fund their military and their operations. Sorry for interrupting, but it's that special time when we thank this episode's sponsor, PatrioticLegacy.com. PatrioticLegacy.com was nice enough to send me over one of these units so I could give you an honest review. I love this tactical flashlight. It's got everything you would ever need. Six overall lighting functions, escape features like the window hammer and the seatbelt cutter, solar charging so you don't need batteries, a power bank for charging your phone and other devices, and a removable compass with access to a personal safety alarm. <laughs> Patriot Legacy supports veterans and YouTubers like yours truly. So head on over there and make sure to use the promo code DRONE20 to get 20% off your purchase. Thank you. Oh, but Todd's job is not to inform the American public. Todd's job is to run defense for Obama's legacy. The sitting president of the United States accusing essentially the previous president of helping to finance uh, Iranian weapons is 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 quite remarkable but that's exactly what happened chuck the fact is lots of people called out this deal when it happened because everyone knew that cash would go to fund iran's military and their proxy armies even cnn's wolf blitz pushed susan rice on this very point and after beating around the bush she had to admit that iran could use it for their military so once they start getting that money, are there any restrictions on how the Iranians can use that money? Obviously, they could use it to build schools or highways, but they could use it to support international terrorism, right? Well, let's back up and let's understand what this is about. And Rouhani, the president, was really elected on the hope that he would bring economic right. relief to the Iranian people. But, but I just yes, want to be it precise. Is real. It is possible. And in fact, we should expect that some portion of that money would go to the Iranian military and could potentially be used for the kinds of bad behavior uh, that we have seen in the region uh, up until now. What a great deal. Let's give our sworn enemy who promises to wipe us off the map $150 billion. What a great move. A move that got slipped in right at the end of Obama's administration. Is quite remarkable that he's willing to push the envelope like that with with the with the office with with the with the office with this office i mean i guess at this point we shouldn't be surprised that he does these things anymore you know chuck i think it's pretty damn remarkable too but probably not for the same reasons you do you're flabbergasted because we have a republican president who's actually fighting back when they used to just take it in the hopes that the media and the democrats would eventually give them a fair shake you would think by mouse man's facial gestures that he's truly surprised and blown away that trump would call out obama's bad deal but unsurprisingly none of this is anything new. Obama used to constantly blame Bush for his troubles. So much, in fact, that he actually joked about it after his second election. That inspired me to get started on my own legacy, uh, which will actually begin uh, by uh, building uh, another edifice right next to the Bush Library. Can we show that, please? <laughs> 
So there it is, just a short video today showing you once again that Chuck Todd is a DNC hack not to be listened to. Look, I think it's safe to say that Trump scored a major win here, not just because we took out Iran's top terrorist leader and not just because we averted war, but also based on the lamentations coming from his media haters. That's all I got for you today, folks. Please hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Like I said earlier, if you want to support this channel, please do so on Subscribestar, Patreon, or just setting a donation on PayPal. One thing's for sure, I absolutely need your support to keep this channel alive and growing. Thanks for coming, keep coming back.